Hello and welcome. We are learning AWS Load Balancers. We have already completed application load balancer. Now we are learning network load balancer and we have created network load balancer yesterday. Today, I am going to talk about one of the most important uh, attribute of load balancer. I have this network load balancer ready. If you don't have, no need to worry about this. Okay, you don't need to create this. Understand what I am saying throughout this video. Okay. So, if you select your network load balancer and when you go to the action, you will get edit load balancer attributes. Okay. Now, here you will get this option load balancer target selection policy. And here we have option disable cross zone load balancing, enable cross zone load balancing. In this video, I am going to explain you what is the use case of this and how it works. Now, first thing that we need to understand that when we are creating load balancer, okay, we are selecting multiple availability zone, right? Let's say that if I'm going to create a load balancer right now, okay, I suppose if I'm going to create any, like if you are going to create application network or gateway, it is having the same situation. When you click on create, here we have to select the availability zone. And according to the rule, we have to select at least two availability zone for high availability, right? Now, when you are going to select any number of availability zone, AWS will create load balancer node over there into this particular availability zone. If you look at this picture, okay, you will find out that here we have selected three availability zone. It is just an example, okay? So, if you select three availability zone during your load balancer creation, it will create three load balancer node into the three different availability zone okay so it will create three instance of load balancer and one in the each availability zone now when you will send request to your load balancer this request will be divided between three different node into the three different availability zone with cross zone load balancing disable if the cross zone load balancing is disabled Okay, then node will not forward traffic to any other availability zone. It will only forward traffic to the targets into the same availability zone. Let's say that if this load balancer is in AZ1, it is going to forward traffic to any of the EC2 instance or target into the AZ1 only. It is not going to forward traffic to any other target or EC2 instance into the availability zone AZ2 or availability zone AZ3. Okay. Now, if you enable cross zone load balancing, then you are free. It means any load balancer node in any availability zone will forward this request to any of the targets. Okay. So, let's say that this load balancer can forward the traffic to this target in AZ1 or in AZ2 and AZ3, so you have flexibility, your load balancer node not bounded to forward the traffic to the moon, only that particular availability zone. And, and this is like a good idea. Now, I'm going to explain you the perfect way to understand this, because right now you understand this, okay, but how the reality, how the things are actually working, okay, you will get better understanding and that's why I'm going to use this mind map. Okay. Now, if you look at this, I have two situations. The situation is when the cross zone load balancing is disabled. Okay. Now, let's see this picture. Now, it is the same as we have seen over there, but here I have all the things with percentage. Okay. Now, let's say that if you will send requests on my load balancer, okay, definitely load balancer uh, like request will be divided. So, let's say that 50% over here and 50% over here. I have two load balancer node into the two different availability zones, so it will be divided. Now, if the cross zone load balancing is disabled, right? This load balancer is not going to forward request to the any other EC2 instance or a target into the different availability zone, right? So it is going to forward request to only EC2 instance into their own availability zone. It means I have two EC2 instance over here, okay? 
So it is going to send traffic to this, means if it is getting 50% traffic, it will divide this traffic to these two EC2 instances, and it is going to forward 25% traffic to each of these EC2 instances, means if you have all the instances, this EC2 instance will manage 20% of the traffic, of all whole traffic, right? Here, in this availability zone, we have 8 EC2 instances. Now, here, this load balancer is getting 50% request, and it is going to divide this request between 8 EC2 instances. So, overall, 1 EC2 instance will get 6.25% of traffic. Now, if you look at this, okay, we are not dividing traffic equally, right? If you if you think that all the EC2 instances having same size, okay, this EC2 instances will be in trouble because they are actually handling almost 50% of traffic, right? Now, your picture will be perfect, crystal clear in, if I'm going to explain you what happened if I'm going to enable cross zone load balancing, right? So, I have one another picture which is going to clear your concept, then there will be no doubt for you. So, look at this picture carefully that what happened if the cross zone load balancing is disabled, okay? Now, I'm going to open another picture here in this picture when the cross zone load balancing is enabled. Hi, I'm Bhavi Shatara from Cloud Fox Hub. To watch full video, please visit our website learn.bhaveshatara.live or CloudFox Hub Android and iOS app. We are going to upload full video daily on our portal. You can visit our portal and you can enroll to our 100 days challenge course. Right now, for first 1000 students for India, it is just 499 rupees fees. And for abroad, you just need to pay only 7 USD. We are going to upload daily full videos over there. And this challenge will be continue for 240 days. Thank you very much. See you inside the app. Goodbye.